Okay, number six, ready? Here we go, make some notes. Now, the most important thing that you can do during this trying time to avoid or slow down or stop completely your cancellations is to prove to your customers you are trying and doing what is necessary to supply them with a service. For example, it's been proven already, Gordon Bircham is for my opinion, in my opinion, the absolute best at this and he's supplying you tons of free information. So if you don't know who Gordon is or you're not connected to him, please connect with him, Gordon Bircham. Remember, I don't get paid one single penny to promote him. I make nothing off what he sells. I'm just so happy and grateful and blessed to have somebody like him helping us all out in the martial arts industry right now during this very, very trying time. So thumbs up to Gordon Bircham. Sidebar online teaching, running classes online. When I first heard about it, I thought, quite frankly, I'll be honest, it was ridiculous. I thought, that ain't never gonna work. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. Eat my words, Lee Child. So there you go, that's what you get when you're an old fogey like me, with this enhanced, enhanced new technology that we have available to us, so congratulations. Number six, be seen to do things over and above the norm. Supply some form of online coaching or something else or maybe go around and visit do some private one-on-ones or whatever else you can do to your VIP clients to show them that you are here and together we will beat this thing. Number seven, ready? This is just for you, ready? Listen to positive people. Plug yourself in and surround yourself with positive people. I cannot tell you how many people I've met in the last few days who are absolutely talking doom and gloom about this current situation. I'm not even gonna call it a crisis, I'm just gonna call it a situation, because the words you use are very important. I like to call it just a challenging time at the moment. If somebody asks me how's business, I say, hmm, it's interesting. That's how it is, because really, that's really what it is, it's interesting. This time will come and go and it will pass. But needless to say, you have to make sure you're keeping your mindset strong and plugging yourself into positive people. Do research if you want to on the cures. Find out what's really happening out there. Discover or put in comparison the amount of people that are dying or being infected from the normal type diseases we've been accustomed to for decades and decades, and then you get a whole new perspective on what is actually real and what's not real. And most importantly, once again, surround yourself with people with a like mindset. In other words, people do believe, yes, we will recover. Yes, we will get over it relatively quickly. Of course we will. We will because we will defeat this thing because we will stand together, stay together, and get this thing beat. Number eight. Okay, so here we are at number eight. So what do you do? You've got all this free time. Now, there's a, lot, a great phrase I like to use, which is I-A-O. You might want to write that down. I-A-O. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. So use your mental Rolodex. Use that thing between your ears. I'm not talking about your nose. Is to figure out some ways that you can take advantage of this situation. Now, I don't mean the people you need to take advantage of. You take advantage of the situation. For example, you have, for the first time, in maybe all year or years, an empty dojo. Now would be a perfect time to do some renovations, to make some changes in the dojo that you're anticipating making. Now, some of you are gonna say, come on, Master Charles, we're struggling. We're running month to month. Now my income is stopped. Great. Here's a question for you. How much is a can of paint? Seriously, how much is a can of paint? How much does it cost to paint? Very, very little. Next question. If you can't afford the paint, how much is a bottle of bleach? <laughs> Might be quite expensive at this point. Everybody's nicking it out of stores. But seriously, what does it take to make your dojo look spick and span, as we call it, Disney dojo? What does that take? How much does it cost? Well, my dojo always looks great. It's in fantastic shape. No, it's not. Do a super duper spring clean. Not only is it good to help defend the virus, inverted commas, it also gives the students a new look when they come back. They can actually see you doing things to make their lives and their dojo and their community better. Post yourself 
redecorating, post yourself modernizing your facility, post yourself creating and inventing new ways to make the training more exciting for when they return. Because return they will, because eventually this situation will be over. Number nine, are we ready? We can barely get all those fingers in. Number nine, okay. Now, this is also a perfect time for you to educate or re-educate yourselves. So let me ask you a question, real simple one. If you had 100,000 sterling in your bank account right now, some of you may have, some of you may not, I'm guessing most of you don't, you probably would be a lot calmer about the situation. In other words, you don't have the financial stresses of making your rent payments or making your own bills meet and taking care of your own families, which can put you in a stronger mindset. So there's a reason why you haven't got 100,000 pounds or $150,000 at your bank right now. It's probably because you may not be using the right strategy in order to make sure that you can collect the money faster. Now, I've been talking about this for two decades now, two solid decades. No one listens to me, no one's kind of figured out, hold on a minute, Lee's been out of the industry for nearly two decades. That's right, I'm 48 years old. Do the math, at 28 years old, I was very fortunate enough to almost be able to quit teaching and sell my martial arts business and basically retire. How did that happen? It didn't happen by accident, it happened by design, by using a right system to maximize and monetize, to be able to recruit, retain, and maximize, absolutely maximize your income when you run your martial arts business. So, it's time to find those systems. It's time to re-educate yourself so you are never caught in this situation ever again. Because I assure you, ladies and gents, if you had 100 or 150,000 six figures in your bank account right now, you would probably be a lot calmer and be also be able to make some more sensitive decisions based on logic and not panic and emotion. And if you don't have that, then believe me, we really do need to talk because we have a solution for that. Number 10, the grand finale. And believe me, I'll put a list of all those 10 items that you can do in description in the link to this particular video. That's it's the final video in the 10 ways to beat the coronavirus. So number 10, I discussed it earlier. We gotta improvise, adapt, and overcome. Think about that for a minute. Improvise adapt and overcome. Gordon Burcham was probably one of the first guys I knew to immediately talk about doing online sessions and going online using a system I think called Zoom. I'm not sure if he's still using it, please check in with Gordon. But here's what you wanna do, is you wanna be able to sit back and think without the pressure. Sit yourself in a quiet room and think about ways you can improve your service or adapt to this current situation. Let me give you an example. You see, I have other businesses, one of which is selling alcohol, lots of alcohol, vodka in fact, mentioned it before, don't want to bang on about it, but here we go, ready? 120 bars shut down, boom, like that, overnight. So, they're shut down, what do I do? Well, I'm sat on thousands of bottles of vodka, but I still need to sell <laughs> thousands of bottles of vodka. Immediately, I launch, guess what? The customers cannot go to the bars, so I have to go to the customers. So I improvised, adapted, and I've overcome and I've started a home delivery service. Now, in this trying time, it's very difficult to get staff to work, believe it or not. Everybody's scared of the coronavirus. I won the bars be able to reopen today for whatever reason and couldn't open because, guess what? The staff didn't want to come in because they were scared of getting the virus. Wow, wow, wow. Shocker. Depending, actually, where I live in this city, we have zero cases. Zero cases. The city's about half a million, maybe a million people. Zero cases a virus in this city. But needless to say, it is what it is. What's more interesting is that you have the opportunity to improvise and adapt. That's what I did. Still making, still making sales, still selling vodka, and believe it or not, went and did it myself. That's right, got on my little bike and, and drove around this city in, in 100 degree heat, in 100 degree plus, and, and made a few extra pennies today. Why not? Why wouldn't I do that? One of my brothers who's extremely successful, worth tens of millions of pounds, would do the same thing. And I've learned and grown up with that philosophy from day one. 
It's good enough for the goose, it's good enough for the gander, and I will get off my ass and do it. I will lead by example as you will. You will lead by example. You will do what is necessary to take care of this situation, as I know you will. You know I know you will, even if I've never met you in person, the fact that you've had, I'm gonna say it again, yeah, no one's listening, the balls to set up your own business, put everything on the line, your blood, your sweat, your tears, you are not gonna give up right now. Number one, myself and Gordon definitely aren't gonna let you go down easy, not without a fight. And Gordon's always there for most of you, clients and non-clients alike, to give you some help, support, and advice. Listen, my heart and my compassion goes out to you all. You know, we're all in this trying time, but it will be over shortly. You know what, in a few weeks, I believe maybe a few months from now, we'll look back and laugh upon this whole situation and how we didn't take advantage of it. And you'll be looking at those spots and dirty marks on the wall going, damn, I really wish I'd have listened and painted that wall. Because it's so much more difficult when the students are around. So, here's what I say. Improvise, adapt, and overcome, and you will do it. Look out for my future videos. We've got some more up and coming things on how you can improvise, adapt, and overcome, and some other hot topics in the very, very near future. If you like what I've said, please like and subscribe somewhere here on this channel to make sure you get the instant updates that we'll be publishing almost every single day at this point until we get through this incredibly easy situation that we are in. Look how I use those beautiful words to describe it. Listen, peace out, love to you all. As always, Lee Charles, the martial arts success guy. And as promised, keep smiling, keep training, and keep signing those students up. Love to you all, God bless, peace out.